Welcome once again to my mover reviews. I do want to thank you for coming back to us here. Uh, please subscribe if you like these. I'm going to try to start having these up every Monday. Uh, those of you that enjoyed Grave Mistakes, I do appreciate the face, uh, the feedback I was given here. But today I'm going to kind of delve back into my horror collection. This one from uh, one of my multi-pack sets that I've got. One movie that I've already done off of this uh, setting here, uh, even though it's not from the setting, I actually got it as a standalone DVD. Uh, it's Children of the Living Dead, which you can actually see that on 7 Uh You can go to the archive section, you can see all the movies we've got. We've done well over 100 of them. Uh, but today we're going to talk about Bloody Murder from 2000. Now, I am born in 73, just to let you know that, yes, I'm old. And having grown up in the 80s, I kind of got... Uh, you know, a special affinity for, say, Michael Myers, who I've done almost half of his movies on the site. Uh, Freddy Krueger and Jason, who I'll start doing as soon as I get some more of those in. And I actually do have one son that actually will sit there and watch Friday the 13th with me. And, yeah, that kind of worries me and kind of excites me a little bit. You know, I've got, out of my five kids, I've got one that will actually sit there and watch the slasher with me. Uh, my two youngest are too young, but hopefully I'll, I'll raise them better. But let's get back. Uh, Bloody Murder is one of those knockoffs of Friday the 13th, as you can tell by what these people look like. And when you're doing a slasher movie in the 80s style, you're only after two things. Well, okay, you're after three things. But pretty much if you give anybody those three things, you're happy. And let's take a look at Bloody Murder. Uh, before we start actually talking about how bad it is, let me first show you how close you come to getting those first two things. Uh, and I will show you pretty much how the censorship has changed from the mid-80s to 2000 and how you can do, you know, female nudity in the, in the new millennium. So this is, you know, I'm sorry to say this to you here, but here's all your, here's your gratuitous shots here from this movie. Okay, everybody ready? Okay, here we go. Yep. This is as close as you come. Yep. This is it. That's all you get. Yep. Now, there is a sex scene in it, but you don't see anything. This is actually as close as you get. Uh, the rest of the movie, all these co-eds in a summer camp are all dressed like this. Yep. This is what they look like. The entire movie. Co-eds. Mid-20s here, y'all. Mid to early 20s, this, this is how slasher movies in 2000s are going to go. Yep. Now, the other thing that we laughed her is, of course, gore. And in 2000, uh, you can do a lot of stuff with gore. Uh, I mean, obviously, you can make everybody kind of happy with that. I mean, you pretty much spray everything red if you'd like. So, for your enjoyment, uh, just because I love my fans, I am going to show you in its entirety a movie called Bloody Murder. The bloodiest kill. So I'm going to give you a couple seconds to, you know, get your, get your, you know, your airline sickness bag in case you're going to get sick. Get all the kids out of here. You know, make sure everybody's able to handle this because, you know, I don't want to scare nobody. I don't want to get any hate mail about, you know, you caused a miscarriage or anything like that, and people, you know, waking up with nightmares and all that. So I'm going to show you the scariest, most bloodiest kill in this entire movie. Uh, and. and I want you to calm down here. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to let you all drink this now. I don't want to hear anything about nightmares. Okay. Yep. There we go. 2000 now. Okay, now, now in case y'all can't handle that, I mean, you know, I, I understand if y'all aren't don't want to watch any more of this. I'm sure, I've scared you to death here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm just going to show you one of the other kills, just kind of let you know what you've got here. Uh, this one's actually, you know, kind of a, a throwback to a Friday 13th kill. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the the famous, uh, you know, person in a sleeping bag one, but it's another one that's fairly famous for Friday 13th Part 3D. Yeah. You didn't know an arrow could spin like that. I never knew you could spin an arrow like that when we just shot it up like that, but that's okay. But yeah, those, those are probably your two bloodiest kills in this entire movie. Keep in mind, the movie is called Bloody Murder. You betcha. Uh, now, again, you're kind of, like I said, this is a Friday 13th knockoff, obviously. 
Uh, but look at, I mean, you know, you've got Freddy with a chainsaw. Uh, the title of the movie basically comes about is they, these counselors say to get there, we're going to play this game, game called Bloody Murder, where everybody goes and hides. It's basically like an advanced game of tag. And if you're found, you yell Bloody Murder, and it's supposed to be funny. And then the counselors come across one person, and he pretends that he's murdered. And it's a big gag because everybody's scared and, uh, you know, those that aren't in it, you know, laugh at the people that said, oh, you know, you were worried that somebody's covered in blood. And that's your premise. And it kind of tries to do kind of a murder mystery type thing where one of the counselors is killing the others. I mean, it's, it's not exactly stupid in that case. I mean, there's a good bit of misdirection. It's kind of interesting kind of toward the end if you're still awake. It's just that the acting is fairly horrible. As you can tell, the special effects are kind of horrible. You can do a lot. I mean, this could very easily be a PG-13 movie. I honestly think this could be a PG movie. I mean, if James frickin' Bond, you know, if Goldfinger's PG, this is a PG horror movie. I mean, this, I mean, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, you, you almost kind of wonder what it, I mean, this is PG-13 all the way. And in 2000, this is kind of ridiculous for a name of a movie called Bloody Murder. But, I mean, as far as a rating, this is an absolute zero. There's no point in ever watching this movie again. Uh, like I said, it's right up there with Children of the Living Dead with action star Tom, Tom Savini. And yeah, I'm not watching this again. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I'm glad to be leaving this bloody murder thing. What? Are you going to be kidding me? Oh, gosh. Don't tell me they made a sequel to this thing. This is, this is a joke, right? I mean, you're kidding me. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll be watching the sequel here. Hopefully, I have this back for you next week, and we'll take a look at it. But I do want to thank you for watching. Please give me all the feedback that you like here. Uh, make sure you hit 7poundbag.com and enjoy all the wonderful stuff there. And I hope this helps you get through your Monday because, oh gosh, I've got to watch the secret of this. Have a good week, everybody.